Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at nested if statements. Now in the last tutorial, we covered else if statements and else. And now if you don't know what an if statement is, I would suggest you move on back to one of my earlier earlier tutorials and learn from that. No, And once you know what an if statement is, then go ahead and move on to this tutorial. So basically, what a nested if statement is, is that you take one if statement and then you put another if statement inside of this and what that does is it makes it to where both values have to be true for the condition for the program inside of the inner loop to run so uh, let's go ahead and create a little example of this so we're going to go ahead and declare a variable and this variable is going to be their age so dim age as integer and we'll set it equal to nothing so just in case they don't type anything we won't get an error when we try to print out their age now we're going to create insurance so we're going to do dim has insurance as boolean and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to nothing too so now what we're going to do is we're going to ask them what their age is so we'll do console dot right line what is your age now we're just going to set the variable age to whatever they type in so age equals console dot read line now we're going to ask them if they have insurance so we'll do console dot right line do you have insurance true or false and we'll do has insurance equals console dot read line now this will not work if they type anything other than true or false your program will get an error and it will uh, crash but this is just for the sake of a, of a tutorial so now we're going to create our if statement so if age equals 16 then we want to do whatever's inside of this if statement. So now we're going to create an if statement inside of this, which is called the nested if statement. So if has insurance equals true, then we want to do the code inside of this. We'll just type console dot right line. You can drive legally now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the case of them not having insurance so we're just gonna go ahead and type else so if age is equal to 16 and has insurance is equal to false because the only other option we have for has insurance is false we're gonna type console dot right line you can drive but don't get pulled over or you are screwed okay so now if we run this it's gonna go ahead and say what is your age so we'll type in 16 and it will say do you have insurance true or false so if I say true it's gonna say you can drive but don't It'll say, it'll say you can drive legally. Now you can see that it closed out right after we did that. So we'll just console.read line. So that it gives us time to read that before we can close the program. And it'll say, what is your age? So I'll say 16. And I do have insurance. So it'll say, you can drive legally. Now, if I type in 16 for age, and false for do you have insurance it'll say you can drive but don't get pulled over or you are screwed and now if my age is not equal to 16 let's say 12 then I'll say do you have insurance true or false if I say false it's not going to say anything because the first value was not true so it won't move on to the next stuff inside of the nested loop so what we're going to do is we're going to add a simple else right here. So if age is equal to 16, then do this stuff in here, and else console.writeLine 
you cannot drive. So if we type in 12 here and then type in false, it'll say you cannot drive. Now there is a better way to do this by using what's called conditional operators and logical operators, but I wanted you guys I wanted to teach you guys how to make nested if statements. And in the next couple tutorials, we will be learning conditional operators. And the use for this is that age has to be equal to 16. And if they are any older than 16, then it won't work. So if I say 21, they can legally drive, but it says you cannot drive. So the way to get around this is to use conditional operators. So make some nested if statements. Um, Get used to them, and once you've got those nailed down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.